Mike Mola, again, in the familiar, familiar environment, boxing gym. But you are also a, a working man. You're working 50, 60 hours a week. Uh, and possibly the big fight is coming. Tell me first how you want to even do it happen. How, how is it possible? How will make this happen working and training? Uh, I worked 14 hours yesterday. I came home and I ran four miles. It's something you got to do, man. You know, it's just something you got to do. It's a, it's an unforgiving sport, and you got to be totally ready when you get in there, no matter what the cost. You know, as long as I keep my my cardio up, my wind up. You know, I might not get in in spar as much as I'd like, but I, I've been doing this for 16 years professionally. I, you know, I know how to fight. So I, I'm coming right off a, a huge training camp, a big win where I sparred a couple hundred rounds for that fight. And uh, I'm, re I'm ready to go, you know. I, a couple weeks of we're running and some little bit of strength work. Just my job alone helps. So I'll be ready to go. Yeah, ready to go means there is a possible fight in Ukraine. We're saying possible because contract has not been signed and we know how this thing works in the boxing. Beginning of May, possibly Ukraine, possibly under Rudenko, but it's all possibly because, as we say, there's no, you didn't sign anything yet. No, I didn't sign anything yet. Nothing's 100% until you hear their first bell ring. Yeah. Let's face the facts on that. I had fights fall through the day before the fight, the day of the fight. I remember so, that. So, yeah, so, you know, uh, nothing's for sure till that bell rings. But and then uh, Jimno fight, it was only a minute. I mean, it was only a one round. But uh, this is why you took the fight because you already had the great training camp before the fight in Poland. You had a great result in knocking the very high rated opponent out. Tell me the comparisons you see if the fight happens between, if there are any, between Jimno and Rudenko. Uh, to really, be so honest, there, there ain't any comparisons. Yeah. They're totally different style fighters. I think Rodenko, he fights more like me. And I think you're going to see a lot of fireworks in this fight. If the fight gets made, he's a come get in your face kind of guy, you know. But this is what you love. But I love that. <laughs> it's nothing, but I'm nothing more. I like, I wish Personally I could. smile. Everybody yeah. saw it on camera. <laughs> you know, I just, I, I love what, what I, yeah. What I love is guys will step into me and fight me. You know, I just, that's what I do this for. I can't stand guys that box and run and punch and move and all that. You get in my face to fight me here and for a long night or a short night. I remember when, when you got, when the preparations for Gina were going on in Chicago, you, you basically said, and your own trainer, San Colonna, said, okay, this is, okay, 9 to 12 minute round. I mean, 12 minute fight. This is for how much we're going to be ready. I presume this time it's maybe the same, but also slightly different because you already have this fight behind you back. Uh, be honest with you, I don't think so. I think it's going to be either me or him real quick. 9 12? Yeah, it's going to be a short fight, you know, but whether, you know, uh, I go out on my shield or he does, you know what I mean? I'm, that's He seems like that kind of guy. I know what I am, and uh, that's how I roll, you know? Mike Mola, all the best. Hardest working man outside and inside of the room. Thank you. Thank you.